Yo, what is up guys? I just dropped a video showcasing some custom maps for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. I've gotten some comments asking for a tutorial or asking how to install it, so I will be doing just that in this video. So the first thing that you're going to need is a mod manager. You can either use Thunderstorm Mod Manager or R2 Mod Man. These mod managers are essentially the same thing. It doesn't matter which one you use. Go ahead and download one of them. They will both be linked in the description below. I use R2 Mod Man personally. But once you have downloaded your mod manager and have it opened, you will be greeted with a game selection page. Go ahead and look for Bomber Cyberfunk. It is sorted alphabetically, so it's very easy to find. Go ahead and click Select Game. You might only have this default profile right here. I personally create a lot of profiles to organize my mods. I do use a lot of mods and I don't want them to interfere with each other. And for demonstration purposes, I will actually create a new profile. So go ahead and click on create new. Come up with a name that you'll remember. Click on create and then click on select profile. On the left hand side, you should see a section that says mods. Go ahead and click on online. And this will show you the full list of all the mods available for Bomber Cyberfunk. So as of right now, custom maps only work in multiplayer. So you will need a mod called Slop Crew, which is the multiplayer mod for skateboard video game. If you guys can't find it in the list, you can use the search bar. But once you find it, go ahead and click on download. Download with dependencies. Alright, so this is the online component that we have downloaded now. Now we need a mod called Map Station. This mod is the backbone for loading the custom maps and making sure that they work. So go ahead and download that. Download with dependencies. It's going to download multiple mods once you click on download. You will need all five of these mods in order for the custom maps to work. So make sure that you keep them enabled. Now that we have that out of the way, we can finally download the custom maps. So right here, we have Shibuya Terminal. This is a map from Jet Set Radio Future. Go ahead and download that or download any other map that you want. You can get Funky Stadium from Mario Kart Wii. You can get the Construct map from Gmod. You can get Emerald Codes from Sonic Adventure. I'm gonna be real, this map is actually goaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and download that one too. This right here is actually a brand new map called the Skeld. Uh, looks like it's an Among Us map, uh, so you know what, might as well try it. I am pretty interested in checking it out, so might as well download that. But yeah, go ahead and download as many maps as you guys want. All right, so we have the online component, we have map station, and we have the custom maps. We are now ready to play the game. So on the top left corner, you're going to see start modded and start vanilla. If you click on start modded, it's gonna open the game with all the mods. If you click on start vanilla, it's going to start the game without any mods installed. Now we obviously want to play on the custom map, so click on start modded. But yeah, if you guys do see a slop crew, that does mean the multiplayer component is working, which is a good sign that you guys follow the steps. But go ahead and load up your save file. Alright, we are here in the hideout. Now we obviously want to play on the custom maps. To find the custom maps, open your phone, scroll down through all of your apps, and you should find an app called Map Station. Open that. And this will show a list of all the custom maps that you downloaded. So we have Emerald Coast from Sonic Adventure. We have Shibuya Terminal from Jet Set Radio. And of course we have the Among Us map. Let's start things off with the Jet Set Radio Future map. It's going to load up the map, so give it a second. Alright, we are here in Shibuya Terminal. This is basically a one-to-one -one replica of the original map in Jet Set Radio Future. Even the dance floor is retextured as, as the icon from Jet Set Radio Future. Let's actually switch to J, I haven't used her in a minute. I do wish I could change the inline skates, but it is what it is. But yeah, all the grinds work as they should. All the spots are pretty much the exact same from, from Jet Set Radio. We got another J play right here, that was pretty dope. But there's actually graffiti spots of all the original locations. But yeah, I really do hope they port more Jet Set Radio maps. I think it'd be incredible to see 99th Street in this game. That was like the map that had like a railing that led to a dragon they could grind off of. Yo, that map was fire, but it was so laggy. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite Jet Set Radio locations. So uh, it is very sick to see this in the game. We got five people in here too, that's pretty fire. But yeah, let's go ahead and switch locations. Let's go into Emerald Coast from Sonic Adventure. This map is also very cool and I want to show it to you guys. 
So this map actually has custom sound effects. You guys can hear like the ocean and birds in the background. It is pretty loud and I will have to fix the volume in editing. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, yo. You know what, I haven't used this gun in a while. Let's use mesh. Yeah, let's go ahead and rail through this. Yeah, this map is like really cool, honestly. I'm not even a huge fan of Sonic Adventure, but this map is just fire. You even have billboards with custom textures like this Dreamcast billboard right here. So I got the Sonic Adventure billboard right here. Pretty sick. We also got loop-de-loops on this map too. Which is pretty fire. So this map is actually still a work in progress. But considering the map mod has only been out for like a few days, this map is incredible. The progress on this map has been like incredible so far. So I really can't wait to see the final version of this map. But yeah, this is honestly a pretty big map too, which is pretty sick. Let's go ahead and take the railing path all the way up the mountain. Alright. Can we grind off this? Oh, we can grind on that too. That's nice. And then it teleports you back to the spawn once you reach the end point. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite custom maps so far. They even have like custom slime. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out the Among Us map. I am... Kind of looking forward to this, but kind of not. Oh my god, what is <laughs> This is so silly, bro. They put graffiti spots here too in the Among Us map. Bro, imagine if someone just puts a mob that lets you kill players. That'd be so wild. That'd be so funny, bro, honestly. Eject. Oh, it actually teleports. Oh, what the? Oh my god, I just teleported out of the map. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> What the hell? Bro, this is... Bro, this is so weird. It looks like a pretty big map list, so let's check out the rest of it. Like, I do like the concept, but it is really buggy. <laughs> like, the camera just freaks out whenever you hit a graffiti. I'm actually gonna tag all the spots though. Bro, I haven't played the original Among Us in like, in three years. That game came out like, like three or four years ago now. It's actually crazy it's been that long. I can tell this is the med bay. I wish it- oh, what the- Oh, am I stuck? Yo, I got stuck. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Wait, you can actually grind off these. That's actually kind of funny. I'm so confused, bro. Wait, you can teleport through the vents? What? Alright. Oh my god, I teleported again. Bro, this is low-key annoying. Alright, I got the last graffiti. It was glitched in a wall, but I got it. But yeah, that's how you play on custom maps for Bomber Cyberfunk. Yo, he's doing a handstand on me. What the? Alright, I'll see you guys on the flip.